Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. I meant to ask you, those gigantic tomatoes, beautiful tomatoes you showed me a few days ago, did you end up doing anything with them? Well, Brian, being Hmm. the guy that he is, gave it to one of his good friends to impress him. He said, when are we ever going to eat that whole tomato? But we have plenty of others, not just that big. But he gave it away. Oh, so he gave the big one to his friend. Yeah. Uh, but, all right, so I, I could kind of... Well, kinda... listen, we, yesterday we mm. had lox cream cheese. I told you! With tomato. Can I tell you how good it was? I can't even imagine. On an everything bagel, nice big fat slice of oof, homegrown tomato. Is there anything better? Did I inspire you for yes. this? Yes. Yes, you did. Because when you texted the picture of the tomatoes a few days ago, I wrote, now you just need some bagels, lox, and cream cheese. Yes, we took care of that yesterday, and we had it yesterday, and it was delicious. And there is nothing like a homegrown tomato. It just doesn't taste like a tomato you get in the store. It's it's completely different and delicious. Now, do you still wash it? Of course. Okay, just wondering. I'm the germaphobe. All right, <laughs> good. Good. Yesterday he's grumbling at me that I don't sanitize things. Mm. He's got the bleach out and the Lysol, and I'm like, well, what are you doing? I think me and Brian would get along better I than think I think. So yes. All right. You ever uh, think to sanitize the kitchen <laughs> counters? Well, as a matter of fact, no, I don't. <laughs> Why don't you sanitize the kitchen counters? Man. Candy, today's National Junk Food Day. Oh, I haven't had any really good junk food in a while. Go get some chips, would you? Maybe that's what I need. I've been uh, not on my own choice. Elijah kind of started me um, this week. I got a bag of sour cream and onion potato chips. Mm. We've been going at that a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to eat just one, isn't it? It is, yes. It is National Be Someone Day, specifically, to come to the aid of children who may be suffering Abuse, you have to stand up, take notice, and get them help, Candy. It's not as easy as you think, but I agree. No, it isn't, but it is. There was a story of, uh, I was in a grocery store once, and I knew this guy was abusing his kid, and the kid was so afraid of him, and he was just a monster. And I was afraid to say anything because he was that crazy. And I feel really bad about that. And, oh, I thought there was a good ending to this. No, there was not a good ending. I was a chicken. Oh, my I don't, you know, I'm not sure I needed to hear that Where's story. Dana? Where's Dana when I need her? Sleeping, by the way. Uh, she would have done something. She I was would've. afraid. The guy was insane. How, when was this? This was an, a long time ago already. My kids were still living at home. They were still kids. And yeah, I knew it. I could see it in the kids' eyes. And I, I just oh. didn't, I mean, it was a horrible thing. You uh, Obviously, hor- I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it haunts you to this day. Haunts that me. It, haunts me. Well, I'm hoping somebody stepped in for this. I uh, hope so. I was afraid of him. I thought he's going to kill me. Man, that is, uh, I don't even, I I don't know if I wanted to hear that story or I'm not, sorry. Candy. This is the things you bring, bring All right. in me. Let's, we're going to switch gears here for a minute. National Hot Dog Day today. Hey! No, yeah. I've had a hot dog since the very beginning of summer. Now, as you'd imagine, I have some info on hot dogs but first thing is have you ever watched the show how it's made and i try not to because (laughs) i like to just eat the food i like and not see how gross it truly is well don't watch how it's made how they make hot dogs you won't want to have another hot dog get me to watch about the chickens i said please it's one of my few pleasures i'm not watching that all right here's some things about hot dogs and i don't agree with any of this there's a new survey says 53 percent of people Consider hot dog a sandwich. No. 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 It, it is, I don't know what it is, but it's not a sandwich, Candy. It's not a sandwich. It's a hot dog on a roll. That's right. It is not a, a hot sandwich. hot dog roll. How about this one? This will blow your mind. 75% of people, three out of four, and I could say in my house, zero out of five have done this. And in my whole family, I think zero out of everyone. 75% of people say... They put condiments in the bun before the hot dog. I have no people that do that. I don't do that. I don't like a lot of condiments anyway. But I don't want to put, like, I like sauerkraut. Why would I put that on first? It'll get the roll all soggy. I've never seen this in my life. Now, there is a thing in here talking about how parents might do that with young kids so they don't make a mess everywhere. 
So if you put the ketchup or the or because little kids like ketchup on their hot dog skin. They do, but you know what's the cutest thing? Little kids, real little, they eat the hot dog with no roll and they just hold it and bite yeah. it. That's <laughs> the cutest thing ever. That is cute, but um, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want to be around people who put the condiments on first. Um, All right, I'll alert anyone I know who does that. You put the hot dog in, then you put mustard. By the way, when you hit a certain age. No more ketchup, okay? No more ketchup. I it, used to love it, too. I don't anymore. It's only mustard. You put the mustard. You put the sauerkraut or the hot. Oh, in New York City, you get the hot onions. Mm. Oh, my God. Sometimes relish is good. Yeah, do the relish. Yeah, and then I you just... I am not a chili dog fan, though. Don't don't ruin my dog with chili. Yeah, I don't need the chili dog. But it is uh, National Hot Dog Day. Good to know. Today, Candy. Go, uh, go make yourself one and, and enjoy. A couple of good news stories for you this morning. Um, there's a six-year-old therapy dog from Philadelphia that went to Surfside, Florida following the condo collapse to provide psychological first aid for people down there struggling. Wow. Now that dog, well, that dog, Teddy, is struggling, has two herniated discs and and partially torn ligaments in his knees, Candy. From, from climbing on the debris? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. That's so sad. But they set up a GoFundMe page for the dog and they're paying the vet bills now. Oh. Yep. And a couple, you see this, flew out of New York to Guam for their honeymoon? I did not. And as the woman was going through security, she noticed the diamond went missing from her ring, her engagement ring. Yeah, that's a flip out season. They alerted TSA. No one could find it. They get on their flight. Five hours later, they notify the couple. Someone from TSA, TSA spotted a sparkly thing on the floor down by the metal detector between the x-ray machine and the metal detector. Oh, my goodness. They found the diamond, Candy. Wow. It's a good thing that they were honest people. And when they flew back into town, they stopped into uh, wow. TSA and got the diamond. I would totally give whoever found it oh, a nice reward. That is wonderful. Yeah, maybe a T-shirt says, I went to Guam and all I got was a lousy T-shirt. I would have brought one of those back for them. Yeah, oh, that's very you. thoughtful. Thank you very much. Uh, Candy... Getting to the 80s again today, going to be a severe, looks like, thunderstorm rolling through for a few hours this afternoon from Nassau through Suffolk between like 2 and 6 p.m., so be on the lookout for that. I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day. I want you to as well. Don't overdo the tennis now. I'm going to worry about you. Well, we're going to have the rain this afternoon. I probably won't oh, be so playing you're free. today. All yeah. right, good. Then rest up, my friend. All right. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.